Greetings, everybody. I don't know what today's date is. Uh, what's today's date? Th what? 20, 25, 26, something like that. Look who's with me. Hung. Wave. <laughs> it's our first time out since she got since she got back from home. But look at this. The water is pretty clear. So I'm definitely when I when I'm done here with Hung, I'm definitely gonna be stopping down at the other spot way downstream where the cave out took place and see if I can get eyes on, maybe. It's worth a check, but um, I could get over there today, but I don't know if I want to do anything over there. My focus today is where the water was coming down through here, hitting the main flow, which means, sorry about making you dizzy, right down in here somewhere it was creating a whirlpool. So there's going to be a concentration of gold somewhere along here. So I want to try to locate that. Um, I don't know as if I'll find a place to set up, but we'll see. So catch you in a little bit. i got to change into my waders. So, there's the old, well, it's not really an old river channel. I guess it might be, but, so I've just dug just two pans, just scratching the surface. First one I did here, and I got eight pieces out of that. And then I just did a little bit right in here and got another six pieces. So I'm up to, what, 14? Yeah. Um, I already sucked them up my stuff about it. I'll show you all the gold at the end of the day. This will be the gold from today and the other day when I was down on that gravel bar from the video I shot. So I'm going to keep digging here and pick away in different spots down through here. So Hung is digging up here on the bank, moving rocks, even though it's really sandy. She just found it's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. <laughs> I'm seeing 18 pieces right in there. Some of them are really tiny. Awesome. All right. She's beating me. <laughs> I love it. So I'm going to take a walk on the other side of that so you can see the bottled up trees up here. Plus I want to see what happened up there during the high water. So I'll get back to you when I get up there. Well, this is incredible. The water got high way up here even. This has completely changed. This all used to be overgrowth. You had to walk through brush to get to that big burrowed out rock up there. This is all changed. And I think those were there before. Man. All right. Nice deep pool right here. A lot of big boulders in it. Man, this is all different. So it's not really a straight run. I was visioning it, remembering it to be a straight run. But even worse, instead of a straight run, it's coming around a corner. So higher water, the most of it's going to be forced right this way. I mean, look what it scoured off all of this up here. 
But that's where the bottle up of the tree starts. Now, Charlie, Hung's husband, after Irene came down here, and he said, you know, it's, it's sunk down now compared to what it was. And obviously it has, but he said there was like 20 feet high of bottled up trees right there. And even more have gotten in there since. Unbelievable. It's all scarred clean. <laughs> wow. And there is that old riverbed from up at this end. All right, enough for now. I gotta go get some more gold. Hung kicking my butt today. <laughs> All right, so same day, Hung and I finished up and we just packed up and headed out. So I knew I was gonna be stopping here because once we got to the river, I noticed it was running somewhat clear. So I got excited and I said, well, when I leave, I'm gonna stop here and see if I can see, but it's down here, it's running a little bit milky. So, really can't see a whole lot. I can tell that up in here, that used to be all bedrock down in the bottom. It's just filled it all in with gravels and overburden, this whole area. Um, still needs to come down more and clear up more before I can really tell, but. So anyway, I brought my snuffer bottle down here and dumped it out for you to see. That's from the last two trips today and the last time out. That's not not too bad. Not too bad at all. Hung didn't do too bad today. She was happy her first time out. She got some good color, so. But I don't know, I'm kind of tempted. Up here on this bedrock, you can scale down the other side, and there's a couple nice pockets over in there. Kind of tempted to put my waders on and go over and see if I can go down there without getting caught in the current. <laughs> That'd be kind of funny, maybe. But anyway, I'll catch you later. All right, so, I don't know. I, I still got to go get spring water, so I don't think I'm going to do any more, but... This, I'd have to say that this area right here could be kind of interesting. I am seeing bedrock right up there. That was totally buried before. And right out here is a flat bedrock area that was always exposed before. But I, I can't tell if there's, I'd imagine it's clean because that current, but the water's still too dirty to really tell. Let me, let me hike up and around so you can see over here now that the water's down a little more. Still has a way to go though because this, this is usually bone dry right here. And it's about halfway up my boots. All right, I'll, I'll be back in a sec. All right, right up here. I was just over there, looking into here. There's that bedrock. Nice drop zone. That's bedrock. Nice crevice right there. 
in this pocket in here. Maybe even down in there. Come down quite a bit because the water was up over the top of that. But it needs to go down a whole lot more. I wish I could block off this water flow. I can't tell what that is. I don't know if that's part of that bedrock shelf or not. And who knows how deep that is now. But that's all filled in now. Completely filled in. That deep hole is no longer a deep hole. Yeah. All right, well, I gotta go.